Don Swim, an 82-year-old service technician, has maintained the UNK Bell Tower once a year since 1995. As he nears retirement, he visited campus one last time. The UNK Bell Tower chimes 10 times a day. Imagine how the bells sound from up here. Don Swim simply turns off his hearing aids. The 82-year-old calls himself... <laughs> ding -a -ling. Swim has been a ding -a -ling for 52 years. The bell business has taken him to 48 U.S. states, all Canadian provinces, Brazil, Israel, and France. His experience comes from working on pipe organs with his father. But now, his comfort zone lies with birds, noise, and heights. Working up high is not the problem. It's a sudden stop at the bottom. The service technician cleans, lubricates, and inspects the bell machinery. He also checks the bell tower keyboard. Me? No, I can't play. And ventures into library tunnels to access the control panel. When the key is pressed on the keyboard or the automatic goes, which then in turn fires, sends power to the bell to make a strike. It takes two days for Swim to service the bells. Then he drives back to his home in Michigan or moves on to the next project. The chimes still echo in his heart as he says goodbye to UNK and his career. I know an awful lot of guys that finally said, well, I've had enough, I'm going to do something else. Six months to a year later, they're back working on the bells again. They get into your bloodstream and you're, you're hooked. Swim wants to spend time with his children and grandchildren when he retires this November. Since he won't be on campus for further repairs, UNK will have to find someone new to keep the tower ringing.